Last week, HP invited me to its virtual press conference where they announced all new HP Envy laptops. And I was super excited. I couldn't wait to see what they have in store for 2020. So it got me really excited when I was able to get a hold of something that HP recently released that has a 10th generation Ice Lake processor, Intel Iris Plus graphics, a 4K display, gorgeous looks with a nightfall black color, and a wooden deck on it. That's right, this has wood. Hey everybody, this is Andrew, and this is the HP NV13 Wood Edition. Coming up. Today's video is brought to you by U2Key.com. Find out later in this video how you can save 15% off Microsoft Office and Windows 10 professional OEM keys. Want to see more videos like this? Why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. This way you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. And don't forget to follow me on my social media, especially Twitter and Instagram. That's where I post all the latest updates. And in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by HP. I'm not being sponsored by HP. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own, and no one is seeing this video before its release. And one of the reasons this laptop caught my attention is its price. Right now it's on sale for $1,049.99. And that to me is a steal for what you're going to see is an excellent laptop. I'll put the link below for more information and where you can buy it. And with specs and pricing out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. You get a 65 watt AC adapter that uses a barrel pin connector, an extension cord, some documentation on how to keep that wood veneer clean, and of course some warranty and safety information, and a setup instruction guide as well. Now holding the unit for the first time, you can see it's very premium, very high end, and it also looks good with that nightfall black color. It's all metal design is thin, light, and easy to carry around. I like that. But keep in mind, it is a major fingerprint magnet. You will be wiping it down quite a bit. Okay, let's talk about the design. And you lift the lid with one finger. It doesn't quite open with one finger, so keep that in mind. And the first thing you'll notice is that wood veneer on that deck. And I have to say, that walnut does look really good. It does feel really good as well. It's real wood, by the way. And it doesn't give you any splinters, for those wondering. And it really does give off a very premium look, in my opinion. I like this wood look. And when it comes to the ports, you won't be disappointed. On the left side is a 3.5 millimeter headphone microphone combo jack, a USB-A port, and a very welcome addition, a Thunderbolt 3 port. I like to see that. Moving over to the right side is your kill switch for the webcam, which is really good, a micro SD card slot, another USB-A port, and of course your power port. Okay, let's talk about that display. What we're looking at here is a 13.3 inch UHD 4K display. That means it has a resolution of 3840 by 2160. You're looking at deep blacks, vibrant colors, excellent contrast, and it also covers the color gamut really well. 97% sRGB, 75% Adobe RGB, 76% of the P3 wide color gamut, and 69% NTSC, making this an excellent choice for those creative professionals that do Lightroom, Photoshop, and of course video editing and it's also a very bright display coming in at 410 nits and if you watch my channel you know anything more than 300 nits is very good in my book this doesn't disappoint but keep in mind this is a highly glossy display and you may have some issues in direct sunlight with unnecessary reflections and glare that might be the one negative of this 4k display which is otherwise excellent you're looking at slim side bezels with a pretty slim top bezel, but the bottom bezel is a little bit big for my liking, especially after using the Dell XPS 13 9300 for the last three and a half weeks. But I really do think HP hit a home run with this excellent UHD display. Now keep something in mind, there is a touch model with the HP NV13, it's just not available in the wood edition. The front facing camera is located on the top bezel, let's give it a look. Okay, so this is the front-facing camera on the HP NV13, and actually it's pretty good. I'm actually impressed with this. This is definitely good if you need to Skype or if you need to do a video conference. This definitely would get the job done. And I appreciate the fact that it is a webcam kill switch, giving you more privacy and security. Now, it does have a fingerprint scanner located below the cursor keys on the right side, just below the keyboard. And I have to say it worked well, registering my finger pretty much every time I used it. Great for Windows Hello login. 
and I really like the keyboard. It's got good tactile feedback, good key travel, and it's very comfortable to type on for extended periods of time. I also like the fact that it has a multi-stage backlight that allows you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment. It worked really well. And I also like the fact that it's a very quiet keyboard. Now, one thing to note about the keyboard, you'll notice the delete, home, page up, page down, end, and right arrow keys are all located in the same row. Some people may like that layout, some people may not. Just something to be aware of. And when you lift the lid, it gives you a nice raised typing angle, making it really comfortable to type on for extended periods of time. And it also helps with airflow. And when it comes to the touchpad, they're using precision drivers, which of course, as you know, are more responsive than say the Synaptics drivers they used a couple of years ago. But unfortunately, it does have a wood finish on top of it, which takes away from the responsiveness just a tad. It does take a little bit of getting used to, maybe a day or so, but really in the overall scheme of things, it's still a good touchpad. And it has some very good quad speakers. They're banging Olufsen's tuned and they sounded really good. Good volume, good mids, hint of bass, and it also doesn't distort when you're at full volume. All really good in terms of audio. I was impressed with the quad speaker system. Before we get to performance, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by U2Key.com. Your one-stop shop for Windows 10 professional OEM keys, Microsoft Office keys, Steam CD keys, mini games, and so much more. And right now you can save 15% off if you use the discount code AUK15. That's a pretty good deal. So head on over to U2Key.com to get those special savings. And I want to thank U2Key for sponsoring today's video. Okay, let's talk about performance, and when we do, we need to note that this is now running 10th generation Intel Ice Lake processors. This one has the Intel Core i7 1065G7 with Intel Iris Plus graphics. You're looking at 8 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, 512 gigabytes of SSD storage. They're using Optane memory along with the SSD storage, so you're not going to get the fastest reads and writes. Kind of a little bit disappointed with Optane memory. But don't get me wrong, reads are very good, writes could be better. That's just my opinion. Now when it comes to gaming, you could play some of the older titles. If you lower the settings, you'll definitely get playable frame rates. But if you want to play AAA titles at their highest settings, you can forget about it. Even though it has Intel Iris Plus graphics, there's no discrete graphics card like you'd find in the other NV13 models that does come with an optional MX250. But having said that, you can connect to an external GPU if you want to. That's thanks to the Thunderbolt 3 port that this has. Now when it comes to the thermals, I thought HP did a good job here. Never getting above 95 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius when I streamed the 15 minute HD video. Now the wooden surface never got above 80 degrees Fahrenheit which is pretty good. That's 26.7 degrees Celsius for those wondering. So I think they did a decent job when it comes to the cooling. But keep in mind, like any other thin and light laptop, if you really push it, push it under heavy load, it will start to thermal throttle. That's just the nature of the thin and light chassis. Now, as you'll notice, when you look inside this laptop, it does have a single fan, and I think they did a pretty decent job in keeping it pretty low in terms of the volume. And it does kick in under heavy load, of course, but you will notice it, but not terribly annoying, so that's good. Now, while inside, we might as well talk about user upgradability. Now, the user can swap out the SSD, so that's always good. Unfortunately, the RAM is soldered into the motherboard. You won't be able to swap out the RAM. You can swap out the Wi-Fi card, of course, which is always good. It's dual band wireless. It's wireless AC 9560 along with Bluetooth 5.0. It all worked good on that front. And while we're inside, you'll notice that 53.2 watt hour battery. And here's how it did on my continuous web surfing test over Wi-Fi at 150 nits. It did 6 hours and 35 minutes, which was certainly not good when you compare it to some of the others in this category. And this is no doubt attributable to its 4K display, which of course needs more power to push all those pixels. But the good news is, if you do find yourself needing to plug in, it only takes 45 minutes to give you 50%, and it takes less than 2 hours for a full charge. And that's pretty good. So to wrap it all up, can I recommend the HP Envy 13 with the... 
So to wrap it all up, can I recommend the HP NV13 Wood Edition here for 2020? And the answer is absolutely. This is an excellent choice if you're looking for a 13-inch clamshell here in 2020. I like its gorgeous design with a real wood panel. I like its bright, vivid 4K display, comfortable keyboard, good selection of ports, including that Thunderbolt 3 port. I like the fact that it's thin and light, has good quad speakers, and good performance with that 10th generation Ice Lake processor. The negatives, only 8GB RAM option, so-so battery life, a lot of bloatware on this, and the wood touchpad needs some refining, although not terrible, it could stand to be a bit more responsive. But there are no real deal breakers here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to give this a score of 91%, making the HP NV13 Wood Edition worth your money. So what do you think about this bad boy, the HP NV13 Wood Edition for early 2020? And I gotta say, really impressed, good performance out of that Ice Lake processor. I would say average battery life, of course, but that's okay. You get a 4K, beautiful display on this, and you get that wood finish on it. Now this wood finish does look really nice, in my opinion, really gorgeous with that walnut on it, and I think it looks really classy, and it gives it a nice stylish look. And best of all, you can get this on sale right now over at HP. I'll put the latest pricing in the link below. This is a steal considering you're getting that 10th generation Ice Lake processor, a Core i7. You're also getting it with a 4K display. These are some really premium specs, all metal build. It really is good. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. This is a good price to value ratio. Of course, we're gonna to have to see what the new Envy line has in store. But again, if you wanna pick this up at a good price, this is a great deal here in 2020. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.